hello hello welcome to another episode of the mix and bake youtube recipe all right today what are we making yes croissant croissant okay just a simple way of making uh croissant all right so we will be needing a few things okay we have a uh, sugar all right we have yeast we have uh, milk, flour, salt, water, okay? Then some more butter. By the time we um, actually make the croissant, you would know what the second butter is meant for, all right? So, we also need a tray, okay? A baking tray, right? All right. Then, of course, there are some other things you would usually uh, use in your kitchen for measurements, extra bowls, napkins, and all that. But, of course, at the cost of the class, it will make more sense. Okay, I'm Ike Olubi Obako, your host for the Mix and Bake online school and your host for the Mix and Bake YouTube channel. All right? So, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Invite someone, share the video with someone. Like I said, this class is croissant easy way of making croissant without having the croissant roller or any of those um, equipments that you you would usually use to make croissant all right so see you in a bit okay so we'll be moving over now to our mixer area where we will be kneading our dough okay so see you in a bit okay over to our uh, mixer now we will be using the dough hook of the mixer can you see Okay, this is what we're going to be using. Not the balloon whisk. You know, we have different uh, attachments in our mixers. We have different attachments. We have the whisk attachment. Okay, if we were, you know, whisking something, this is what we'll use, depending on the cake we're making. In the last episode, we did the steam uh, cake, and I think we used the balloon whisk. Okay, so you also have uh, the, the hook, then the cake beater. You also have the cake beater, or the beater, or the... You know, I mean, if it's Kenwood, I'm used to calling K beta for Kenwood. Okay, so um, depending on what you are making, then you can use a different attachment. But for this particular one, we will be using the dough hook. Okay, and into our mixer bowl, into our mixer bowl, we're going to be pouring in uh, flour, some of our items. So we're going to be start some of our ingredients rather. So we'll be starting with our flour. Okay, so the whole flour into the mixer bowl. Now, you can actually use your hand for this. You can actually use your hand for this. Okay? You can actually literally use your hand without having a mixer. Do you understand me? Okay? So, after adding the flour, you add your sugar. That's your sugar. After the sugar, you add your salt. Just a bit of salt. I would say like maybe, uh, the recipe says two grams. Okay? So, this is actually two grams. <laughs> okay? So, um, I'm going to be adding my water. This is my water. My milk. My milk. Then, the one that would make the difference, the yeast. Okay. Then I'm going to be combining all these items in my mixer. All right. So, just sit back. Relax and watch the process, okay? Like I said, you can actually use your hand to knead. Okay. But I just wanted to show you both sides of it. You can use your mixer, you can use your hand, at least to start with. Okay. So I'm going to be uh, using my mixer again now, just for you to see. So you can see in the mix side it's all coming together so at this point i will be adding my butter so at this point i'm going to add my butter 
You can of course use margarine if you want, okay? And I will just, with my hand, try to blend everything together before I then add, I mean, turn on my mixer, all right? So we're trying to achieve a stretchy mix, okay? So we haven't achieved that, but what we want to do, we just want to allow the dough to rest for a few minutes, okay? We're going to allow the dough to rest for like seven minutes, then we're going to come back and continue mixing with the dough uh, mixer again, all right? So we'll just allow it to rest for some time, then come back. I mean, everything will be explained in your recipe, okay? Just... Um, um, take time to watch but everything the process everything will be explained in the recipe so we'll just leave it for like a few minutes about seven minutes to rest after that we will need again for about uh, some more minutes just for it to become stretchy all right So we've been mixing for some time and we want to check if this is you know of course it's getting better than it was okay so what we're trying to achieve is a really stretchy mix so we have uh, been mixing this for about maybe four minutes okay so we'll just mix for we'll need it for another say two minutes okay we're almost there we're almost there okay we are certainly almost there but we are not there yet so we continue So, we've done this for about five minutes in total, okay? So, can you see how stretchy it is? Whoa, 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 look at that. Very stretchy. So, at this point, we are going to take it out and let it rest for about 45 to 50 minutes, okay? Let it rest for about 45 to 50 minutes. And afterwards, we're going to refrigerate it for three hours, okay? So, enough mixing done. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to scoop it off and place it in a plastic bowl allow it to rest for about 45 minutes after 45 minutes we move it to the refrigerator for about two to three hours okay okay so can you see how smooth it is can you see that really smooth okay so just get a, uh, a bowl rub the bowl with some uh, margarine or um, butter or just a bit of vegetable oil all right then take it out from your mixer bowl that's my mixer bowl okay and place it into your bowl and allow it to um, stay for about two to three hours all right so allow it to stay for 45 minutes to 50 minutes okay so we're going to be covering it so i'll just cover it for the next 45 to 50 minutes like i said afterwards then i'll place it in my refrigerator all right see you in a bit after about three hours this is what we get remember you put this in the refrigerator for three hours. Can you see that? Did you, do you remember what we started with? Okay, so this is what we get after three hours of placing this in the refrigerator. Look at that. It has almost tripled in, in, in size. So the next thing we'll be doing now, we'll be cutting it into some pieces. Then we move on to the next. Okay, we'll deflate, then cut into some pieces. Okay, so remember I had mentioned us needing extra butter. Okay, so uh, you will get the quantity from the recipe. The extra butter, you will see what it's needed for. Uh, then we're going to be deflating this and dividing into 18 equal pieces. So I have my small scale here, all right? So I deflate some flour on my board.
I always try to make sure I get every piece out. Okay, so I just give it a little need. I need it a bit just to bring everything together. All right. Then I'm going to weigh this. I'm going to weigh this on my uh, scale. All right. So let me move it a bit backwards just to get the actual quantity. So I put this back on. So I weigh my bowl to uh, zero. Then I place this in. So this is about 926. 926 gram all right i don't know if you can see this clearly let me zoom so nine can you see that 926 okay so i'm going to divide this into uh, 18 because i want to cut the pieces into about 18 so that i can get the weight of each piece of 18 dough that i'm going to cut out do you get me so i'm going to divide 926 gram divided by 18 because i want to cut 18 pieces so this comes to about 51 grams for each, 51 grams for each uh, piece I'm going to cut out, 51 grams. So the same thing I did, I'm going to be, I'll place my container, scale it back to zero. Okay, so I have zero grams. I make sure there's a bit of uh, flour inside. Okay, so I'm going to be weighing, so scale it back to zero. I'll have to do a lot of cleaning to my scale. So zero, so I'm going to be cutting this and weighing 51. Oh, too much. <laughs> Way too much. Okay, that's 49. So you can see the way I'm trying to check it out. 52, so I just need a little bit out. Okay, so I finally get 51. Can you see the 51? So I'm going to do this 18 times, all right? So by the time I'm done, you will see the whole piece, okay? So like I said, each piece, you can even decide to do 20, but I think uh, 18 is just fine, okay? So I'm just going to do this 18 times. We'll actually be rolling each one into like a seven uh, inches uh, diameter, all right? Seven, seven inches diameter. Okay, so seven inches diameter, and I have like a template here, but this is about, um, this is about eight inches, okay? So I'm going to roll each one and uh, place it into this eight inches, and this will just serve as a, uh, like a template for me, all right? So I'll just do one and show you. Okay, so can you see what we're trying to achieve here? Okay, so can you see that? Can you see that? So from different angles, you know, so it's just approximately. Okay, so the next thing you do, you take your butter and spread it. Can you see what I'm doing? I spread my butter on each layer generously make sure it gets to all angles then just try to you know then i'm going to place this here okay you don't have to place it in the pan you can place it on a flat surface okay so i can place on a flat surface like this just for easy you know so I, I, i'm going to decide to place it on, a, on a flat surface all right so again i do the same thing to the next one until i finish all the 18 this is what i'm going to be doing so i move to the next one and do the same thing i roll out
So can you see layers upon layers of each uh, rolled seven inches um, um, round croissant sheets? Can you see layers upon layers? So we are going ahead to keep rolling and placing layers upon layers all right when when i'm almost done you'll see exactly what it looks like okay i still have two four six seven pieces to go eight pieces to go so we've done about ten ten pieces we've done about ten pieces we've laid about ten pieces can you see that okay so we have layers upon layers layers upon layers of those uh seven inches uh, round dough pastry dough so we have two left we have just two left okay so um rounding up rounding up on this too going to lay it on the top okay I'm just going to lay it on top try to make the sides as smooth as possible then you know what else I'm going to do this is going to go into the refrigerator so this is going to go into the refrigerator for roll it again then we start cutting into croissant shape all right so can you see the layers can you see the layers so i'm still going to roll this out i'm still going to roll this flatten it out to and afterwards i'm going to bring it out roll it to about 16 to 18 inches diameter all right roll it into like a bigger a circle about 16 to 18 inches and then we're going to cut out our croissant shape and we bake in the oven Okay, so that's the next thing we'll be doing now. We'll be moving this into our refrigerator. So I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, docs. Okay, so make sure it's covered. All right, so I'm going to cover this. Make sure it's covered. You can use a cling film or a napkin. So I'm going to be placing this in my fridge for the next uh, maximum. Do like uh, 10. You can do 10. You can do six hours. <laughs> so for example, you can, maybe you started 12 midnight by 6, 7, you can wake up to do it. All right okay so but nothing less than six seven hours it should be in the refrigerator nothing less than six seven hours okay okay so out of the fridge the next thing i'm going to do now is to start rolling this okay So I'm going to roll this to as wide as about 16. Okay, so I'm trying to get an 18 inch diameter. And So I roll from all angles. Okay, so I'll just give it a, a measurement. Oh, wow, this is about 20. Fantastic. 20 isn't bad, actually. Okay, this side is 18. So let me roll a bit more. So I get 20 on all sides. So if you get 20, it's not bad at all. Okay. I think we are good to go all right so we are going to divide this into 12 equal parts all right I'll try as much as possible to make it as equal as possible you can use a pizza cutter a sharp knife but I'm going to mark it with a long ruler 
This ruler is clean and it's been cleaned. <laughs> I only use it for my kitchen work, okay? So I'm going to try to divide this into tw uh, 12 portions, okay? So, I actually have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I have 16, not even 12. I've cut more than what I was supposed to cut, but that's, that's fine. I'm just going to... I'm just going to now cut this properly, all right? To make sure I have a clean cut. So... I've succeeded in cutting all my triangles, okay? So now I'm going to be rolling them into croissant shape and into the pan, all right? Another thing I'm going to be needing is egg wash. You need egg wash and you need your brush, okay? Okay, so I'm going to be rolling my croissant pieces now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a V-cut here, okay? Then I give it a little stretch. So I give it a little stretch and I fold over. Can you see that? So I egg wash to end. Can you see that? So. And that's what I'm going to do to all, all, all of them. Okay, we've done quite a bit so we are on our final final stage so usually i just pat it stretch it a bit the slit at the wide end then fold tightly And finally, finally, finally. Okay. So at this point, I will be egg washing all my croissant. Now, since I have a bit of space, I'm not going to move some forward a bit. Okay, so egg wash. Okay, so we're going to leave this for some time until it puffs up again, all right? So let me show you so you have a good view. 
you have a good view of it. Lovely, isn't it? Okay, so when it's puffed up a bit, I will show you. It's already puffing up. Okay, I just want it to puff up a little bit again. Can you see how flaky, flaky it is? With layers and layers. Okay? So, that's the end of our croissant class. Do try yours and let me know how it goes. Okay? Very flaky. Very soft and succulent. Okay? Croissant without any machine whatsoever. I would expect your feedback. Okay, thank you for watching the Mix and Bake YouTube channel. All right, make sure you subscribe, invite a friend, like our uh, videos. When you like our videos, it gives uh, leverage. A lot of people are able to see it, all right? So like our video, share, and invite someone to watch, okay? It's been nice uh, teaching you how to make this lovely croissant. No machine whatsoever. Handmade, homemade, and uh, enjoy your croissant. All right then, see you in another episode of baking experience with